Hi, my name's Taryn Castle and my project is Pupa Education, where Pupa stands for the preservation and understanding of plants and arthropods, where arthropods are animals, insects, creepy crawlies, things that you might not be so keen on. Um, so I'd just like you to take a moment, do a little exercise with me, where you shut your eyes, take a deep breath, breathe into your core, and see if you can remember what the person on your left was wearing. Okay, open your eyes, check it out, have a little look around you. Were you right? Were you wrong? <laughs> so, my background is in environmental biology with a focus on entomology, on insects. And I just have a real love of the micro world that actually underpins and runs our world. But it's got a basis um, in nature awareness. And that nature awareness interest is, is actually all about the care of the environment around me and the care of the people that are in that. So although this is quite a different setting to one I normally work in, I just kind of wanted to see if you could get a feel for that. So um, there's been quite a steep decline, as I'm sure you know, particularly in the last century, in habitat loss, in many animals and plants on a steep decline or even becoming extinct. Um, and this is down to a, 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 an increase in pace of life, the industrial evolution, revolution and um, an increased use in technology. And although these things have, been, have brought about many wonderful things, they've also um, often been at the detriment to the environment. So an increased use in technology in schools, in education and also in play Studies have shown a loss and a decline in dexterity, imagination, and creativity in children. And, and this has really had an adverse effect on childhood psyche development. Um, studies show it, uh, an increase in depression, uh, disconnection from, from people, as well as nature and the world around them. So well-being is central to my work. Human happiness is central to my work. Because when you're happy, you learn well. And studies have also shown that being outside, being outdoors in nature, actually makes humans happy. So it's really important for me for people to learn about their environment, to understand and to care for it, and all that inhabit it, the plants, the insects, the animals, as well as the people. So what do I do? I create a learning space and a way of teaching that is known as mentoring, which is all about the art of questioning, the art of encouraging the curiosity to learn and a desire to learn, making learning interesting, easy and accessible. So my slides show a mixture of activities and a, a, a mixture of styles of learning. So sometimes it's one-to-one, -one, sometimes it's in small groups. I also go into schools and colleges and work with forest schools, offering opportunity to learn about the environment in a stimulating way, enhancing nature skills, learning to observe and to sense, learning, learning to be creative with it, to help students to take ownership of place of their environment and within their community, and to understand the impact that they have on a local and global scale. The activities are often outdoors, learning to observe and to learn, and to in interact with who's there, finding that out, and why are they there, what do they do, and how do they fit in with our world. Getting students to slow down and to learn to be aware. Learning to understand our place as humans in, our world, in this world is important, but we need awareness of the impact of our actions on each other and on our environment. So I also run events to help raise awareness on issues that I feel are important, environmental issues as well as community issues. And there are a few pictures here that are, I called March the Bees, which is all about raising awareness of the use of pesticides and a decline in the pollinators. So what's the... Um, Sam? <laughs> That's right. Um, what's the future of pupa? So pupa's going into the hedge, um, creating access for people, young people and adults, I'm hoping, in the future, to learn about science and nature and nature skills in a creative way. And I would like to set up a land project, a learning base, where people can learn about nature collection and permaculture and wild animals and insects and plants, nature skills and craft, community building and community connection. So a hedge is a wild place on an edge, edge of a city, around a garden. Edges are the, most, are the most diverse and healthy places on earth. So if you've liked listening to what I've said, if you think what I've said's been interesting, I'd really like to hear from you up on my store upstairs. Thank you.